Hello everyone, welcome to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the, finally taking a look at the official trailer. Official full trailer. Official full Netflix trailer for Cowboy Bebop. Of course, the live action. This is the actual trailer, not the concept art teaser trailer, the last session we got last time. Mm -hmm. uh, apologies, once again, um, because we forget about Netflix's rules, teaser trailer one week, next week, week is the, the full, full trailer. trailer. Yeah. So, uh, apologies if this is coming out a bit late. But anyways, what can we say we have a Barrera Ray? Oh, um, we liked the original series. Um, we're down to the last handful of episodes we still got to watch and the movie. Mm -hmm. um, but we've really enjoyed our time with it. I know you want to do another once over because you've been watching off and on with me as I'm watching it. Um, but you've enjoyed your time with the original. No, I, I no, the, uh, the actual animated series, I freaking love. I'm loving it pretty much. It really has that, that really... It does have that Western feel to it, where it's like it really, it really felt like pretty much, you know, you know, it's like you see why some people love like Serenity or uh, Firefly. That's what I mean. Exactly. You know, where it's like you have that, you have that. It's like you're, you're, you're the classic Western, but set in a more of a futuristic setting, and it really, it really delivers it. It really delivers and gives us a, a different take on the future, you know, and how we, uh, how we take on things. So we get to dive a bit more into this now, because we, we do, oh yeah, overall the original anime is amazing, uh, story's great, it's a nice balance of humor, drama, action, comedy, it's like that really mm -hmm. nice balance of everything you love about anime. Anyways, so we've already gone over this, but basically the story follows three, uh, oh, four, for now, right now, for right now, three uh, galactic bounty hunters, and, uh, and one, one adorable dog, um, called in this world, <laughs> in this world called uh, cowboys. Yes, and so we follow three: Spike Spiegel, um, a man who's proficient in his ways of martial arts, but also has a mysterious background to him. We don't exactly know where he comes from. Uh, from what we've seen of initial trailers, and we kind of got a sense where we're going with that. We got Jet Black, a former cop turned uh, cowboy. Mm -hmm. um, they do kind of emphasize why in yeah. the series, why he did. And Faye is uh, pretty much one of those. So happened they run into. She's a cowboy slash con artist who has a background she doesn't remember or has a backstory she doesn't and she's much her. older than the other two much older from what we from what the story has told us so, so far yeah so. and there's Ayn a cute little world dog who's smarter than he looks yeah so let's dive into this for the official Netflix trailer for Cowboy Viva so here we go So what brings you back from the dead? Okay. A week ago I did a job. A bounty. I had a partner, believe it or not. He know what you used to be. Will I ever see you again? They tried to kill me, Anna. If you need to find me. I go by Spike Spiegel these days. Okay. There is a yeah. Oh, jam. It's jam. Get it? It's jam. <laughs> in this solar system, if the cops and the bounty hunters don't get you, the syndicate will. Just so happy ending here. That's Spoken it. like a man who's never been in love. Julia. I was. What happened? I was dreaming. Mm. That just says porn. Yeah. Say, fellas, you want to team up? <laughs> I was thinking a 60 40 split. Going my way, of course. Do not shoot her. Please? No. Please? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <sighs> 
Depends on who you ask. Dude. Oh man, nice. Music man. Now I have heard, I have heard they have, I believe they've already cast Ed. It was one of the first people they cast, and they should be like, as they did cast Ed. So they, they, um, she. Like I said, it's one of those things where it's like they probably, they're probably not going to bring Ed in until probably near the end. You know, which makes sense because it will be setting up for the second season with the full team, you know. But I just love it. This the, the, the style, the the flow of it. It reminds you, the shots, the certain shots, certain angles. And the cinematography really brings out, like, as if you're watching the anime because that's how it was shot. That's how it was put together. See, when he's, he's telling her this story uh, about, like, his past, but from, he's not talking about Jet. He's actually mm. talking about Vicious. Yeah, that's what he's talking about. That's why I like how even he's like, I go by uh, Spike Spiegel these days. You know, it's like, ooh, okay. You know, it's like where it's like he's giving a hint that his past is more of a Yeah, history. and the picture was definitely of Julia yeah. um, as well. I do like the concept with the whole, you're getting pumped up going, all right, three, two, one. Hit. And it, it, there's an actual jam. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Of the gates, <laughs> I love the ship. The ship is just Great. directly from from the series itself. Um, it looks like we are gonna have an episode, of course, where we dive into Jet's past because you see him in, in, in his in dressed up in his outfit. Yeah. So it looks like we are gonna dive into his past, um, and we're gonna probably like where he, uh, who he's talking to. It looks like it's somebody that's uh, possibly from the first episode. Remember yeah. where it's like he's because that's how we kind of learn a little bit about him that first time. I do like the, the, it's like, let me just kill her, please. Let me shoot her, Don't please. Shoot her. <laughs> it's like, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, man, this the art style, this the style alone itself. <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't gotten to that guy yet. Apparently, he's in one of the episodes we haven't seen yet, is that guy. Um, but, no, nah, it still looks good to me. It still looks good. Like I said, you can tell certain elements where it's like, it's doing its own thing. Where it has to stand out to do its own thing because it is a live action version of it, which I understand and respect for it, you know. But just the music really is just a huge throwback mm -hmm. to like the, the this, this series itself. And man, oh man, the, the vicious stuff I can't wait to see more of, man. Yeah, that it's gonna be cool to see uh, overall. I think I know a lot of people are like a lot of the fans are just like. Where's Ed and like are we gonna see more of this? We're gonna see more of that. They've already clarified that while it will kind of follow the story of the original anime. It's still doing its own it's thing. It's doing its own thing in a way where it wherein you'll have you its own unique adventures and stuff like that and those stories. Even in the end of the teaser, they don't just say like ten episodes, no, they say ten new sessions. Yeah, exactly. So in a way the it's like the creator acknowledging this is a diff slightly different spin on the same the story you've heard before exactly and that's why i had stated where it's like it's like i'm in no rush to have ed in this you know automatically it's like it's a type of thing yeah, she doesn't even he, she doesn't even show up to like what in the anime like four or five episodes in uh, however like uh, like she much more takes, deeper, deeper it takes her a while to show up that, and that's why i said even if they leave her to like maybe the last few episodes that's all right with me because that means okay we'll have the full team all together by the end of the season and even if not it's like okay we'll have a yeah. at least one episode and then so, set up for the second season plus it would be interesting to see how they introduce her in this considering what her introduction episode is pretty much about which is insane yeah so like I'm curious to see where they go with that but overall and, and again there's certain episodes that even you and me stay going I would love to see a live action version of this like like uh, the the alien with the parasite one pretty much that gets onto their ship oh no no that's remember that was the um the, the thing he left in the first that's said, that the, well, that, well that's why I said pretty much that would be a great episode just to see because it would be one of those like calm episodes before we hit something ma major or something like that. Because it was always a unique, different type of episode. But, I mean, they could do something similar. But I'm excited. The music, like I said, really stand out. Really helps deliver. Uh, everybody's part in this. It, they're playing it to the T. Some people, I guess some people are like iffy on Faye, I guess, or her interactions and stuff like that. But I'm like... Um, she's... She, it, it's, she's coming off less like like a confident cars and more like a slightly like ditzy one, gets one over on you most of the but time. But from this trailer, because everybody says they're seeing that in the actual Lost Session one, but 
in this though, do you think you get more of like more of the confidence or still? I it? I don't care. It still looks like it still reminds me of Faye overall. I know. I'm, I'm just asking. That's all. For me, it, it still looks like it's still she still has the pretty much portrayal and the acting chops of, of like the character Faye at least. So other than that, folks, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And I feel like it's just a little bit more to anybody else when it comes to talking about Netflix original series. Hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys' thoughts are on this uh, official full trailer for Cowboy Bebop. Did you enjoy it? Did you have fun with it? You know, are there certain episodes you would want to see them kind of do or bring the life in this? Uh, the, this really stand out? Um, you know, do you like the music, how they're going with it? The, just the flow, just the cinematography of how it's really staying now, you know, with the, the original series? Do you like where they're going with it? I mean, let us know in the comments down below. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall but most importantly we thank you for watching so until next time though i'm chris and i'm christopher and this has been a very space cowboy filled episode of srb see you later hey guys thanks for watching if you want to check out any of our previous reactions as well as one of our other srb shows check out one of the playlists down below and if you want to check us out in the social universe you can find us on twitter and start us at super react bros as well as on facebook at super reaction bros